Hey guys, welcome to another Firex video. So we are having a go at City Skylines 2, as you can see from the screen. So this game just came out. I don't have too much hope in many people seeing it, but it's um it's usually a great strategy game. It just gets a bit too complex for me usually. So I'll give it a go though. And we'll see how we do. So we're gonna go new game. And we might just select the first map it gives us. So a chain of islands enveloped by water. This map comprises atolls, um, lagoons and peninsulas. A highway running across the map connects some of the larger islands while also providing a connection to the outside world. The buildable area is split over several pieces of land, which offers a range of options for traffic over land, water and air. Okay, so theme is European. We'll give it a go because it's been a long time since I've had a go at this. And we're going to leave the tutorial on because it's been too long since I played and we'll just quickly go through there will be parts in the game i will you'll see skipped because i don't want you guys to endure all of it i just want to just have a good look at the game and see whether it's worth your money or time if you've got xbox ultimate you can just download it for free and play it of course that works as long as you don't want to like play it later if it goes off the bot off the um, xbox so welcome to Cities Skylines 2. This is a place to build the city of your dreams. Take on in-depth challenges or manage city services and directing traffic flow and follow the lives of your citizens. Tutorials are here to guide you as you take your first steps towards building a city. As you progress more, hints and guidance become available in case you need it let's build okay before you start let's look at how to move around this landscape using the control camera okay just your typical ads uh okay and then camera control is q t okay zoom is r and f wow that's a lot of different camera controls but that's cool you are not ready to start your city to guide you through the steps, we have provo uh, prepared the task list for you. Okay. Start a task by selecting play. Okay, oh, here we go. Build roads. A city exists around roads. When you build a road, a cell grid appears on the land next to it. This is the area where you can build on. Most roads also come with a built-in utility network. Okay, roads come in different sizes. Okay. Okay. The two-lane roads are the basic road for two lanes, one in each direction. The street lamps on one side. It is easy to build with, but can only support a low amount of traffic. When we are selecting a road, keep an eye on the information panel. Okay, I'm just going to skip through this without reading it out loud. Ah, oh, cool, you don't need a bulldozer to change the road. Turn on replace mode and select a new road type. Hmm. Lots of reading. Okay, let's go. Okay, we're starting again. So we've done that basic tutorial. So they said there's single road and then double roads. So the double roads are probably 
what we need for our main city streets. And this one looks like there's like you're limited to this border. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this street longer. And then, I mean, do we need double roads here though? Probably. We'll just make some really big double roads and then make single roads off them. That looks nice and straight. Like how long can this go? Oh, this can go quite far, so... I love that it shows you that 90 degree thing. That's really good. There we go, so that's nice and straight. And then we'll do the same thing here. And we'll do it over here, but we'll do it to the same thing, 90 degree. How much money do we have? i got to be conscious of that too. 400,000. Okay, that should be fine. Okay. Now I want to do like a small wrap. Oh, I can't do a double roundabout. Whoops. Oh well. Okay. We're going to bulldoze this. And we're going to put in like another double road. And it's going to go this way. Okay, there you go. That's our main city. So we've got our basic roads and now we need power. So we're going to build a power plant. So the power plant can kind of go off, off the end, you know, it doesn't have to be close to your city. Because what you can do is you can build a little transformer station. And we can just put the here at the end of the road. Um, I think. And then you can connect it up with the power plant. So if we go here and connect it up to here. It does need a road, so we'll connect the road up. Let's do a road. Okay. So what we'll do is we'll select our water. Um, we'll go to our water pump. We can put that here next to the road. No, this one. That's it. And there we go. So the roads connect your power and your water and your sewage and stuff. So now we've got our water pump. We've got our station and all we need now is sewage. So there's these little sewage like hubs here. You just have to pop those in the areas that you populate. So if we pop that there, that should cover that. Yep, it does. So I figured that now that we've got these basics here, we can start building little areas of places. So we're going to go on and start doing some residential zones and some city zones. So we'll put a city zone like here. And then we'll do residential. We'll do some here on the back street. And we'll do another city zone here. Now we need some industrial. So, um, yeah, see, this is a bit too big for industrial. But we'll try and spread it out because we don't want it to, like, you know, pollute one area massively. So we'll put a couple of industrial building lots here. Now, as we watch our little city growing, we can go and do their needs. Now, we do have civil buildings and stuff, which will come available soon. As our city starts to build, we'll see some new things. Okay, we're hiring... We just opened a new factory. Nice. Oh. 
So this is kind of cool. I'm enjoying this. Look at the cranes. They look so neat. Hey, look, we've got some cars on the road. It's a dump truck. Okay. Oh, yeah, I don't think we have a landfill yet. Probably can't get one. Well, we've got our basics right now. I think we unlock more as we go through. Uh, maybe we build more residential. So I reckon that um, this can be residential. And this. Oh yeah, look at that. It's all coming together. So many cranes working away. This is neat. I love this game. They don't make you muck about with too many power lines and stuff. Oh, we got our first house. Oh, look at it. It's a really nice little house. This one's got solar panels on the roof. I love the warm weather. I hope it's not going to rain today. Well, we're going to add parks and stuff around here because we've got some residential, um, some industries. Oh, I actually just realized I built that industry wrong, didn't I? Because I needed to build a road here. That's all right. We'll cut off a part of their property. There you go, they're locked in. And then I can build a park here, I think. No, we don't need to do landscaping. Nice, we've got a, um, a rock factory, a wood factory, and a timber, and livestock, flour, and metal factories. Nice. Visit our new gas station. Oh, yeah, so they build the gas stations and everything for you. Oh, look, there's a supermarket. Cool. You're listening to Second Moon, the epitome of classical listening at home or wherever you roam. Nice. We've got, like, properties and... Oh, look at the people in their little lives. This one's got the hanging the washing on the lion. That's cool. Yeah, so what's this demand? Okay, they want more residentials. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to not overcrowd one area with all residential and no parks and stuff. And we don't actually have any emergency services, so we've got to get the town just a little bit bigger. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build here because this kind of connects up. And I'm going to build it. I'm going to try and keep everything as straight as possible. They will connect up to the highway, which I don't want. There we go. That's pretty good. And then I want to connect this up to 90 degrees. There we go. Now we can build some residentials here. Maybe here and here and then I want to try and like put another industry here but then this is a really big block I wonder how I um yeah that's it I don't want to select that whole block just want some industries to be here yeah 
There we go. Cool, we went up a level. Milestone one unlocked. Tiny village. Your efforts are being uh, bearing fruit and your city has taken the first steps towards success. Okay. Sweet. So now we've unlocked some more services. So now we've got health care. Okay, we definitely want to get that in. So I think a hospital would probably be good kind of like on the side here, like near the city area. Can I flip this? Yeah, there we go. Okay, we've got a hospital now. Cool. Medical center. What else do we have? We have a cemetery. I mean, yeah, you probably do need a cemetery. Oh, laggy. Okay, what I might do with the cemetery though is I'm gonna put it. Oh, it really doesn't like the cemetery. It really lags out. What I'm thinking of the cemetery is I want to put it towards like the outskirts, kind of like the power station is out of the way. So maybe what we'll do is we'll build like a little road off the end of here. And now we'll go to the cemetery and we'll put one down here at the end. Okay, it's a bit big. Yeah, it's a really big cemetery, man. Oh, that's as close as I can get it. Um, that's okay, that's... That's pretty close to the edge of the map, so yes, that will do. Actually looks like it fits in perfectly with a street going down the side. Wow, what a cool cemetery. Oh, you die, it's like a really nice place to get buried, man. Okay, we do have more things, like green options. So we're going to go in and do our green management. So there's here, garbage management. A landfill. Yeah, well we put that out by the power station. So the landfill can kind of squish out here a bit. Okay. Building upgrade, upgrade buildings. Okay, cool, cool. Well, we've got a landfill now. What other things can we do? We can do a landfill. Oh, I think that we need to connect on to here. Ah, I see, you can extend the plot. Yeah, that looks pretty good. If people really fill this landfill, then that's sad, isn't it? Cool, there we go. Landfill's got lots of room. So that should be fine. And now I think we're just going to keep on following our demand. So demand is um, medium density residential and some more commercial. So we're going to go back in here, and we go commercial. Now this is kind of like your city centre, so I'm going to put it here. I'm going to put up a lot of commercial here. And then behind it I'll put in some high density residential. Now we can enjoy watching these build. 
got a lot of detail behind it, eh? It's fantastic. Population increased. Oh, now normal residential is in demand. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect it to the outside city because apparently that's what they want. So... Okay, so I can actually connect it pretty closely. So if I do this... And then I can do this... Okay, transformer... can do this there we go we're connected because all the power lines are under the road so we don't have to think about power lines which is a fantastic feature in a game hey look here's our high density co commercial oh look at that i mean residential look at that they're all townhouses that's so cool it is exactly how i imagined it too oh this is really cool I like the leveling thing where you can't build particular services until you've leveled up a bit. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we got the um, progression. New development tree. Cool, and we got two skill points. I already know what I want to put those skill points in. So the skill points is um, this parking areas, because that's quite important for a good city. So we're going to unlock parking areas. Okay, so now we've got education, so we can actually improve the education. Okay, so we're going to build an elementary school. We'll try and get it nice and, like, probably wouldn't hurt to be kind of cloches, cloche, closest, cloche, bleh, I can't even say it, close closest to the middle that we can oh this is actually a pretty good spot but before I do that I want to build a road so I don't stuff up the road because I want to make sure that the road extends out here okay so let's do the elementary school here on the corner Oh, look at that. Leroy loves that. And then we can also do like a, a, a high school over this side. Wow, the high school is massive. Okay, I'm going to build some roads to control that. Otherwise, I'm going to like not have enough room for it. Yeah, the high school can go right here and pocket it in and then I'll surround the high school with streets because that makes sense so high school that looks good and we put some roads around it There you go. Got a nice big high school here. Ah, uh, it's very fidgety, that's why. Okay. Okay, so if I connect this onto here. There we go. Done because most of the power lines go under the road but now we've got some fan power which should help us increase our like decrease our pop pollution okay so what we need to do now is like get some oh we've got it we've got fire services now 
a fire department so if we put a fire department in uh, maybe next to the school that seems like a cool idea This should be like here. Okay, fire department. Cool. And we probably need a police department as well. Cool. So we should probably put that up, up here. I think up here is a good place. Right next to here where the street would be, so maybe i need to put in a road first because i don't want to like lose my nice organized roads okay and then we do this oh, i love this little like guidance on where you're building stuff it's fantastic so we go police station and we're going to put it right about here. And there we go, we got a police station now. Nice. Hey, whoever you got playing the yeah, I want to get transportation going because no transportation funk. will be it's quite important. Hmm. But I told her that ain't funk, that's classical. Yes, indeed. That must be most exacerbating. Classical music has been known since the time of the early explorers. The loan limit Funk is 200,000. Entirely modern conceit, and you'll find none of that here. Funk, as they say, is for the lay person. Now, let's hear another one of those soulful cants. A housing yeah. shortage is driving up prices in the area. That's right, Glenda. But apparently, that's not all good news. We're joined today by an expert guest, Professor Nutbutter. Well, well, I've got a bit of everything. I'm going to turn off the radio because it repeats a lot of the stuff that just went over. I get sick of hearing it repeat. They are trying to tell you that you just need to increase your housing. But um, at the moment, we need to really try and get some... Uh, things done so we're going to do some more residential probably over here oh, does that reach not reach oh it does that's okay here we go that should be all the residential they need they need some more shops so We'll build the roads first, so we don't I don't stuff that up. And then we'll put one lot here. That should bring it down. Still climbing though. Well, wow, look at that industry demand. They want more more businesses, like more more factories. Well, I'll give you more factories because you ask nicely. There we go. That factory just upgraded. Nice. That should keep them busy for factories for a while. Cool. Ah, oh, there we go. We got a nice little castle ruins on our map. Got to preserve that. Try again. Better. 
We're gonna make this place a bit bigger. There we go. And now we're gonna put some parking in here too. We're just gonna go for a medium, like a, maybe like this. Now you got lots of parking there. There we go, City Hall. Okay, well, we'll put City Hall down here. Place the cargo. Oh, he's still annoying me about that. I just love that you can make that so like good. Okay, so City Hall. Oh wow, they took all my money. Never mind. But hopefully we start like doing better in the budget. Because that's meant to reduce the import goods cost. <laughs> 